Hi folks, Lou here, and I'm going to talk about a comment or a question that somebody posed to me sometime recently. Quote, I've wondered for a while, are there any non-puzzle games, video or board, that have short play sessions and or are abstract in nature? Or is it so that all abstract games are about puzzles and not about the players? And is it so that any short, simple game turns out to be a puzzle? Well, first of all, this is a confusion between abstraction and what actually makes a game a puzzle, which is that a puzzle has one or more always correct solutions. And non-puzzle games don't have correct solutions, although there are certainly cases where you one play is better than another, and certainly cases where some strategies succeed and some fail. But if you have a game, a proper game, with just one always correct solution, that's called a dominant strategy, and it's a big time no-no in a game. But it's expected in a puzzle. Now, having a, a always correct solution is greatly facilitated when there's no hidden information and no randomization, no, so nothing such as dice. And that tends to happen in abstract games a lot more than in non-abstract games. But it's a coincidence, more or less, or it's something that doesn't make a difference. Uh, abstract games can be games rather than puzzles, especially if you have more than two players. It's usually the case, uh, almost always the case, that if the game has more than two sides, three independent players or more, then it's going to be a game and not a puzzle because it becomes virtually impossible to have an always correct solution. Now, does this make a difference when you design things? Yes, I think so. Because if you're trying to design a game and you end up designing a puzzle, you're not succeeding in what you wanted to do. And vice versa, if you're intending to design a puzzle, and many Euro-style board games are puzzles with multiple solutions, multiple paths to victory, then you're going to screw up as well. People get who are used to uh, multiple paths to victory get confused when there's no expected move in a particular situation, when there's no path to follow. They, they, some of them find that difficult to deal with. Others don't, of course. So keep in mind what you're designing and keep in mind it's not about abstraction versus non-abstraction. The biggest problem with abstraction is it's hard to sell because games are sold as stories, even though the story may have nothing to do with how the game actually plays. It's kind of a paradox. Thanks for listening.